Good morning everybody, it's Shafiq here. It is Wednesday the 10th of October and it is, yes it is, I'll say it again, it is today's World Mental Health Day. And um, yeah, apologies for the appearance, I'm in school run mode so I just grabbed the nearest thing that came out of the wardrobe and funny enough, I grabbed a Christmas t-shirt. So uh, obviously it's getting clearer, nearer actually, not clearer, nearer. Um, it's about 10 more Mondays till Christmas, so um, awesome. Um, yeah. Back, back in point, today's World Mental Health Day, and um, obviously it was good to see that um, Eagle Radio uh, put my interview on, on online, so it's there for you to hear, and obviously uh, a printed piece as well, which is good. Um, apologies about the, uh, the, uh, the write-up, it's nothing to do with me, I think the individual missed a few words there, and it's a bit difficult to read, but basically I think you got the message about... Um, for me, which is a, 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 a startling figure, that you know, 84 men, boys, um, you know, chaps, for want of a better word, uh, take their life every week. Um, now, you know, it's, it's over 400 if we talk about a five, a five week month. And um, like I said, if, if we do as society, we do have as individuals have the ability to help. And if there's one thing you can do today, one thing I ask you to. Um, it's just to reach out to those. If you know somebody's struggling, if you know somebody's going through maybe a, a, a relationship breakup or somebody's um, at home because they're, they're suffering with their health, if, if you know someone's struggled in the past, please, please, please reach out to them. You know, you have no idea. I can appreciate it because I've been there, but you have no idea what it means for somebody to show that they care, somebody to show that they have a vested interest in you. Um, and if you look at it, and it's quite quite upsetting to think that maybe that one conversation could stop somebody from taking that ultimate sacrifice. Um, and last night I was curled up on the sofas with the kids. Dina had gone out for a well-earned evening out. And um, we were watching uh, Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams. And what an amazing film it is. And all that I see when I see Robin Williams was what an amazing talent, what an amazing individual he was. And you wouldn't have believed the turmoil that was inside his head. And they all say it in the eyes, don't they? Um, but just like me, he played an absolute blinding part of somebody who's happy, somebody who's um, successful and loving life. But actually on the inside, he was in absolute turmoil. And um, it's weird now when I see the Robin Williams films, be it Jumanji or Night at the Museum or it Mrs. Doubtfire, it chokes me up to think what he gave out. He was always so willing to give. But when he needed that help, when he needed somebody to give something back, that arm around his shoulder, maybe they weren't there. And it's another another amazing life, amazing talent lost. So please, please, please today, please reach out to people that maybe you haven't reached out before. Please show that you care. Um, you ha you genuinely have, and I always say this with my upcoming presentation my afternoon with Shafiq on the 4th of November. Um, you are amazing. You as an individual is an amazing individual. Think of what you've achieved and think what you can achieve, you know. And just to show that you care is an amazing, amazing, um, what's the word? An amazing, found the word. An amazing action, an amazing gift that you can give somebody. And also today, um, just just for you school people, I mean, you know, obviously I've got uh, um, a, near enough a seven-year-old and near enough a 12-year-old. They're a month away from their birthdays. Um, that mental health is to be um, championed in school. And they're meant to be mental health teachers for children of the age of seven. I mean, that's crazy. And, you know, don't knock her. Theresa May has appointed her first mental health um, uh, governor or whatever you want to call it, you know, with regards specifically with regards to, to the suicide rate in the country. So while I kind of feel that I'm banging on about it, there definitely has been a in the public eye, social media, a bit of a a bit of a step back, maybe because the royals aren't in the public eye promoting it all the time along with mine, so people aren't banging on about it enough. But it it's still there. I've noticed a, a slight downturn in the interest from this time last year. This time last year, it was prevalent, massively prevalent. Probably why the year before that, uh, my former business or company decided they didn't want this to go through the in, in, into tribunal. They didn't want people to hear what, what was going on with me. 
But there has been a, a definite um, reduction in the amount of publicity this gets. And I think that's a crying shame. But hats off to Theresa May. Hats off to everybody else that champions it. Everybody else who blogs. Everybody else who coaches like myself. Because it's all about helping those. Okay, so But to think that schools are now actually having to address this situation for primary school kids... It's scary stuff. And a lady I was listening to today had to wait 12 months for her eight-year-old son to start seeing um, some CBT-type um, coaching, uh, mentoring through the NHS. This, this kid was in a really bad way. She flagged it up. The GP acknowledged it, but then he was on a 12-month waiting list. So the one thing you can do to show that you care today is just to reach out, drop a message, Hey, don't drop a message. Don't hide behind a screen. Get on that phone, pick up, say, how are you doing? You know, I've been thinking about you. Is everything okay? You know, how about hooking up for a drink? And that might be, that might be the, the catalyst to say to that individual who's struggling, you know what? It's worth carrying on. How does that sound? Thanks for your love and support. I appreciate all your shares. Please get my message out there. It's all about helping those that are struggling. And you've got to remember, you've got to believe in yourself to succeed. You know, if you're an individual, if a chap, there is absolutely, there is no shame in holding your hand up and saying, I'm struggling. Okay, please reach out to me via my social media. You know my coaching available at shafikempowermentcoaching.co.uk. Please have a look. Please comment on it. You know, let me know how you think the website's looking. And I look forward to interacting with you all week because this is World Mental Health Week. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.